of the stories you've heard, they don't tell the whole truth. The island is indeed the place of legend. There's power and vast riches as well. But those who've gone before you have simply vanished, never heard from again. I saw the horror, the madness that overcame the crew. It was beyond any evil the world has ever known. How I survived, I do not know. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Go then, Captain. Charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. After a death in Outpost Rush, I realized I knew nothing about player killing builds. So I decided for the first time in my gaming career I will learn to craft. I will go into another type of battlefield and battle against these bots and achieve the Hell's Flameberg. And with the help of my girlfriend, Laddie, learners, and longtime companions, so region, I will not fail. There were times I wanted to quit, running into empty nodes that would still be there if bots didn't plague or turn them. But the thought of doing big damage kept me motivated. A vision of what's to come if I obtain the flame that kept coming to me while I was out of skilling. <laughs> then finally end game Veens. A place bots won't dare to reach. I battle a merited by the name of Ancient Cubby. My first encounter since I went down this life-skilling path. From the beginning, I could tell he was not a Peshova. But neither was I. Being raised by souls made me comfortable in these situations. I know he was not going to let me get off that easy. His green, they come back. I remember the days as a Merida. Back then I was uninformed. Back then I thought it was one side. For monkeys to Isabella, I have always stayed more to green. And since day one I have always had a problem with greens. Crying switching worlds or quitting when they lose wars. I was there seeing everything. Though after being disrespected by a friend, that was the last straw for me. But at that point I was just looking for a reason. The ominous sounds in the land gave me doubts. I will never forget the day and the memories that came to me when I took that walk. How could a place like this be surrounded by so much of you and death? I wondered if I was making the right choice. Yes. <laughs>
Everything went silent, and then I took over. I will never become Taxic, and I will become a mighty Templar and purge eternum of Taxic heathens. I know this road is lonely, and I know I have a long way to go before I can call myself a mighty Templar. And Shinkovia was a stepping stone to my ultimate goal. And that was to create the Hell's Flyberg. I promise no matter how many wins I will never turn the bag. I can tell Enchin Kobe was getting desperate. I took advantage of the opportunity and practiced. That's Hammer. It's a very dangerous build. A lot of control comes with that playstyle. I remember when I first entered the turnum. I used the same build ever since I washed up on a turnum shore. I realized I was running the meta, and then I became bored, and that led to me being corrupted by the void. I became so obsessed with the void, I spent every cent I had to make it work. But in the end, I failed, so went into hiding, waiting for a fresh start. Coming to fresh start, Isabella. I quickly realized there were many other players like myself here. That's just looking for reset. With this life scaling journey coming to an end, I'll give Anshin Kobe one more shot to get his revenge. <laughs> I can now attempt to make the house Flameberg. Next time, on New World Adventures.